Hello and welcome to another tutorial in XNA. And in this tutorial, uh, actually I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to do something. Okay, so uh, you know how we change the stuff in the items, no, the map reader class. Uh, no, we didn't change the stuff, we just... Well, basically, this will this won't work. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. So, the, I'm gonna change this a little bit. So, uh, instead of making a new object, it's going to get an existing object, and it's gonna place it at x and y. And so, I'm gonna make a new method called method void create object. And it's going to have a new vector two. It's going to have a vector two called POS, or short for position. And what it's going to do is say for each object O in items dot object list. Uh, oh, another thing going to take it as an object as an argument. So for each O in ob items dot object list, and it's going to say if O dot is dot alive. So if alive is false, so if, it's n if the object is not alive, uh, it's going to set its position. No. It's going to also check if it's this if it's the right type of object uh, it's going to place, if it wants to place. So the way we're going to do this is say if o.getType equals equals object dot get type. And remember this object variable is the one we passed in here. So we basically just pass in an object for create object. Uh, we say if like, sorry. If we want to create a box, we're going to pass in a box, a new box variable in here, and its position. And it's going to check if uh, this object is a box. And if so, it's going to, it's going to uh, create that object. So, if so, create, create object. And the way we're going to do this is say o.alive is true, and o.position is equal to uh, POS and I think that should be good so just get rid of this uh, just create object and we're gonna pass in a new wall and its position is going to be in a vector 2 dot 0 and for all you guys who don't know what vector 2.0 is, it's basically a new vector 2 with x equals 0 and y equals 0. That's basically it. It's just a shortcut. <laughs> uh, and its position is going to be new vector 2, x, and y. You know what, what we could do? Yeah, this is a better idea. We can say x and y and get rid of this entirely. So we don't need this. We don't need this variable. We only need one variable. That. And position equals POS dot. I mean object dot position. Yeah, this makes it more compact. So we create a new object and we also put the position inside of that new constructor. And then we extract that position from that object and set it to the new object. We're going to uh, put on the map, actually. And why is it giving me an error? Oh, because, no, it shouldn't be giving me an error. Oh, right. <laughs> it's not two integers or two floats, it's one vector two. So that should fix it. And then what you want to do is just, yeah, copy this for all the other blocks, all the other uh, stuff, and then do the same thing. 
man box spawner debug it see if it works probably not but it wor sort of works okay what the heck oh right I know what we did wrong uh, <laughs> this is sort of dumb but what it's doing is it's getting all the objects that are uh, that are on uh, that are not alive and the same type and is placing all of them so it placed 300 men 300 walls 300 bullets etc so we don't want that so the magic word is break so once it's finished this we can break out of the loop and we don't need this anymore so that should uh, fix that but for the most part it sort of worked not Okay, uh, I'm gonna figure out what's what the heck went wrong. Okay, I know what exactly went wrong. Uh, these two methods have the same name, so I'm just gonna name this uh, set object. Set new object, and then copy this, paste it here <laughs> because. This thing was calling this method instead of this method, and that, and I don't think that was a good thing. So, oops, let's play that. Okay, still not working. Still gotta figure out what's going on. Okay, I figured out the problem. Uh, turns out we can't make 300 men. So cut that out. Put it outside of the four. Statement, we only need one man anyway, so why do you need 300? Uh, I think the reason for that was because it was messing with the camera. It's creating like 300 cameras, and that wasn't uh, working. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, put it, put it outside of that for loop, and it should work. Okay. Yeah, good. So everything's working except for the cursor. So, oh shoot, what the heck? Lag, lag. Okay. Uh, let's go up to our spawner. I think it's also glitching out too. Okay. So, update increment timers. Okay, spawn, spawn time. For each object. Okay, type of enemy and O dot not alive. And o dot true. Oh, okay. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, for update method, we don't have something to block it, it from updating if it's not alive. So, not alive, return. So basically, all 300 spawners are spawning 300 zombies at once. And they're all pathfinding at once. Yep, that's that would make a game slow. So, I think everything's good right now. It's not like lagging. Except this guy's not following me. What the heck? Okay. So, yeah. So I think everything's working right now. And I think we can get back to what we are doing before. Okay. So I think the next step is making something remove the objects. We've made a thing to like uh, create objects. Now we need something to remove them. Uh, okay, it's actually getting sort of late in this tutorial, so I think we're going to do that in another tutorial. Uh, this is a good ending point. Uh, we just built the game, and uh, everything's working fine, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, comment if you have any suggestions or constructive criticism, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.